Hello friends, my name is Sumit and once again I welcome all of you to BISPTrainings.com This is my third video in continuation of preparing the financial reporting in Python and in this video I will be going to demonstrate you how can we present the company financial net sales, net profits and profit margin in the form of a bar graph along with the line chart on top of that. So I have got a company data. That's my financial data which I have been received from the company. And I, I need to be present the data, the net profit and net sales and the profit margin in this graphical format so that the CFO of a company or the business analyst of a company or the decision makers of a company they will be easily knowing that whether they are making any profit or what or they are going into loss. So we have got the data and the data the columns in the data headings are nicely placed like scenario year period. So my requirement is I will I need to prepare a report, I need to prepare a graph period-wise period by using the financial elements net profit and net sales and profit margin and by using this column element. So basically we are going to use only three columns into it in our reports period, financial elements and amount. So let's see how can we achieve this through Python so first of all I start the Python editor and the first thing I'm going to do is I need to import the libraries into a new file so I write here import pandas as pd import csv import numpy as np import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to load the data the financial data which is in the CSV format so a simple write data is equal to pd dot read underscore CSV and my data is stored in my D drive financial data dot CSV then I'm going to create one figure and uh, one AX variable because we are going to use multiple we are going to plot the multiple bar charts in a single chart so for this we need to create various plots so that's why I create multiple subplots I define this as that we are going to create multiple plots in a single plot Then, because my requirement is I need to do the grouping based on periodically. So, here I create one by period equal to data dot group by and period. Then, from that period I just wanted to calculate the net profit net sales and profit margin by using the financial elements based on the financial elements but we are going to apply the aggregation on the amount column so for this we are going to use the lambda expression to know more about lambda expression you can visit my existing videos which are already published on YouTube in that video I have already explained what exactly do I mean about lambda expression so I create a variable here net profit is equal to by period dot apply and I applied lambda x colon x x and the element is element here we are going to use the financial elements so I write here financial elements it should be in single quotes single quotes bracket close and if it equals to net profit then I would like to apply the aggregation on amount 
dot sum. In similar way, I just copy paste it because I need to pull net profit, net sales and profit margin. So net sales and in similar way profit margin and net profit then in financial elements we have net profit we have profit margin and net sales so i just copy this net sale and paste it here net sales and this should be profit margin profit so you can see we have net sales and profit and we apply the aggregation on the same next i need to extract the periods the unique period so i create unique period is equal to pd dot unique data dot period dot rvel rubble i'm going to create index here index is equal to np dot range a range and it should be length p then i just define the bar width because we are going to define the bar width as well is equal to 0.35 what's the opacity for that so 0.8 now we need to define the bars here for example right like we have the three we, basically it's a combination of three different charts so one two are bar and one represent in the form of a line so that's why i create here rex one and is equal to plt dot bar so it will plot bar it will use index on the uh, x-axis and net sales on y-axis net sales on y-axis comma bar underscore width i set the bar width alpha is equal to opacity and I specify the color as well. Color is equal to B. And at the same time, I assign label as well. Label is equal to net sales. In similar way, we need to create one more bar. So again, I copy this. And this I define as 2. It should be now index should be same but the index should be placed just next to that it should not be overlapping it should be next to the first graph so that's why uh, and we have already defined here the bar width so the next element so the next bar should be the just after when the first bar finish so and how do we how do we know the uh, the starting point of the second bar the so whatever will be the end point for the first bar will be the starting point for the third bar so that's why right here index plus bar underscore width and it should be net and uh, net sales and i want net profit bar width and that should be same only thing i represent in, it into green color and i change the label as net profit now the next the final graph the final profit margin i would like to represent into a line chart so that's why i create here rex3 and to create a line chart the command will be plot so the plot is used to create a line chart and this will be indexed because there will be no bar so that's why we don't need any width and all so index and uh, it should present it should represent profit margin profit margin comma i want to represent the represent it in red color and line style is equal to i said the line style as well and marker is equal to oh i said the marker along with that 
and line width is equal to 2.0. So as you can see here, we have got on X axis, we have got month name, which represent that this data is from the January month, that's from February, that's in March. So in order to do that, we use here X ticks, which I've already explained in previous examples as well, or in previous reports also we have done. So I write index plus bar underscore width because I want to display it in the center and period. Then plt dot legend to display the legend to add a legend as well. You can see we have legend. So I just want to display legend and plt dot x label on x axis we have months or I'll call it as a periods. And plt dot y label, it should be expenditure in millions. And plt dot title, I set the title as net profit versus net sales versus profit margin you can use any title as required whatever you want to display the title then i just write plt dot tight underscore layout and plt dot show so first we save it as a sales versus margin and I'm just going to test it by pressing the F key, F5 key. So let's test it. So I press F5 key and you can see it has been successfully loaded and the chart has been prepared, which along with the legends. And that's the title we have. That's the, or that's the label on y, y axis and that's the label on X axis we have. So that much sale we have done in January and that's the profit and that's the profit margin So that's how we can display the profit margin net sales and uh, net profit net profit and profit margin of a company based on the data which will be provided We can save this figure or we can also Use we can we can also save the chart in the PDF format so to know more about that, how to save the chart in PDF format directly, please go through my previous video. In that video, I've already explained that how to save the chart. Instead of displaying the chart on screen, how can we take the backup of that or how can we save directly in the form of a PDF so that it can be shared with our clients or other users. So that's all in this video. If you have any questions or any queries, you can write to us on www.bispsolutions or bisptrainings.com. You can subscribe our YouTube channel for more videos on Python. Till then, have a nice day ahead. Goodbye.